Moja, a harmony of sweet and spicy, crispy and soft. The Malay term for mix, rojak sums up Singapore's cultural diversity, just like the dish that has a mixture of Malay, Chinese and Indian influences. While the origin of rojak is unclear, the Chinese made it their own by adding fried dough and fried bean curd. How the Indian rojak came to be is a pretty interesting story. And we went down to Bras Basa Bugis to find out. Hi, I'm Sabik, the second generation owner of Siraj Indian Rojak. So, is Indian Rojak from India? No, actually it was invented by my hometown people from Takle, the early migrants from India. At that time, they started as street hawkers. They started to sell with these fritters and some flour items. Their customers' feedback, they thought of giving some kind of a sauce to go along with. So that's how the Rojak work came up. Roja is not only in the items, it's also in the sauce as well. You can taste it, it'll be a bit sweet, spicy, a bit, bit of salt, everything is mixed together. The sauce, the crown jewel of the dish. The thing that differentiates one Roja from another. Every morning, the first thing I do is to taste the sauce. Without even tasting the thing, when I smell the thing, I know what is more, what is less. Basic ingredients of our sauce is sweet potato. Second thing is crushed chili powder. Then salt, sugar, then uh, peanuts. This sauce has changed very little since the days his father used to run the same store at Albert Center. Before that, Mr. Sabik's grandfather worked at Waterloo Street, which was famous for their Indian food and drinks. The old St. Joseph Institute was just opposite this stall. So many of them all studied in uh, St. Joseph's school. A few times the students come and talk to me about their old school days and this and that. So I keep on asking them for the photograph from the school magazine somewhere. And one guy told me that he will uh, give it to me, but yet I have to get it from him. Now. At present day Bras Basa, you can find some of Singapore's oldest religious establishments, such as the Kwan Im Thong Hut Chu Temple. The stretch is also home to art centres like Centre 42 and the Singapore Calligraphy Centre. And while the Waterloo Street Hawkers are gone now, if you'd like a taste of their legendary Indian Rojak, you know who to look for.